don't really have everything except for the camshaft, but I can put the head together now. So I got the springs, I got the screw and studs, I got the retainers, I got the spring locators, I got the guide plates, I got the locks, I got this, uh, what is that? That is the valve stem seals, and of course the valves are going to head. So let's get those things and start putting them together. Alright, the camshaft is finally here, ah, but we don't have lifters. So let's go ahead and get this thing in here, get the time set on, get the time to cover, get the oil pan on, the oil pump, and possibly the heads as far as we can get without having lifters. bottom end done so all we got left is we can put the heads on so let's get those on and we're done until we get some lifters the heads are on the motor yeah but unfortunately like I said earlier I don't have any lifters to put down in here so we're kind of dead in the water until we get those so let's wrap this up in this vlog on this note and we'll pick up as soon as we get some lifters it's been about two and a half weeks maybe three something like that since I said this vlog was gonna end right now but it's not because when I got home, I realized I didn't have enough content like after that vlog would have ended to really justify making another one. So I'm just going to continue with this one and as we finish the motor because these are finally finally, 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 I have some lifters. The whole entire country for some reason has been out of these retrofit roller lifters for a small block Chevy for a while now and I finally found a company with some got them and we're gonna put them in that motor so let's get up front and get the ability as you can see it still doesn't have lifters in it so let's get to a time of me put them in it I mean three weeks isn't that long of a period of time to install one set of lifters is it <laughs> either way they're finally here they're finally in the motor Let's get some rocker arms on here so we can check the push rod length and that way there we can go ahead and order them, set the valve lash and get this motor out of here. I'm not going into crazy detail about this because I've done it before but I do want to show you the wear pattern because we're checking the push rod length and we got this set up so it's wearing dead in center. We have the same amount on top and bottom. Yeah but it's in the center of the valve so we're going to go with this length right here and we'll measure this, get it ordered and then get this put together. Let's do it. Well. We got the push rods all checked out and everything like that, and they got them ordered. But in true fashion of my warehouse that I use, they have one here in Greensboro, and then they have one in Louisville, and everything I ever need is in Louisville, like these push rods. So, they, it's being a Thursday, it ain't gonna get here by Friday, so it'll probably be Monday before I get them, and then we'll get this motor wrapped up and out of here. <laughs> Alright, finally I got the push rods for this 327 build, so let's get to that and get the valve lash set. Alright, the valves are set. Let's get this last thing, the balancer on, and we are done. Alright, it is ready for its new home. Alright, let's get 